Consequently, the blessing of the censer is done in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The sweet fragrance from the censer represents the aroma of Jesus Christ that is spread all over the creation. Moreover, in Revelations chapter 8, verses 4, it is written that the smoke of the incense, together with the prayers of the saints, went up before God from the angels' hands. So the prayers of the saints are accepted in heaven, along with the inner fragrance of their holiness. That is one of the reasons we use the censer in our worships. After the censer is blessed, the priest asks for the shubakono. Shubakono is a service of reconciliation. The priest asks for pardon of all his sins and supplicates the whole congregation to pray for him for accepting his service before God. After this, the priest kneels down before the altar to seek the prayers of the saints and also pleads to forgive the sins and debts of all the faithful departed and also ask their presence in the worship. The Eastern Orthodox worship is mystical with the presence of the faithful departed, the living and also the ones yet to come. The creed of the church is also proclaimed at this time and the rest of the service is expected for only those who are baptized and therefore the faith in the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, and in the baptism, and in the church, is proclaimed by the church before entering into the main part of the Eucharist. Now the priest climbs the step before the altar. This step is called Dargo. This symbolically represents Christ who climbed the upper room for his last supper. The celebration of the Holy Eucharist is a thanksgiving service in reconciliation. The whole service will be worthless if we hold any hatred with our friends, brothers, neighbors, or colleagues. Before entering the main part of the Eucharist, we have to keep ourselves free from such attitudes. So the kiss of peace is done to obey the command of the Lord, which is mentioned in St. Matthew chapter 5, verses 32 through 34. It says, If you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and reconcile to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. This service of reconciliation, otherwise called the kiss of peace, is symbolically done by crossing the hands with each other by the faithful. The peace is taken from the holy altar by the priest and passes it over to the congregation. The deacon exhorts the congregation to bow their heads before the merciful Lord. <laughs> 